The gates have just opened at about four o'clock. We've been seeing people come in in drops and drabs, some in um, Bafana shirts, uh, Bovazela's flags. Everyone is very excited. We must remember this is the first time in years that Gobeja has seen international football, not just football, any kind of sport really being played at the stadium. So it really is a big deal. I'm joined now by Raz, our stadium manager here at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Raz, as I mentioned, it's been years. I mean, I've been a journalist in Gobeja for a while. The last time I remember international game was maybe in 2019 yeah. when the Springboks played Australia. Yeah. yeah, how excited are we to have Bufana play Congo? Yeah, in a Afcon qualifying. Uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for having us. Uh, we're extremely excited to be hosting Bafana Bafana versus Congo Brazzaville this evening. Uh, from a stadium point of view, uh, these type of events, mega events, brings about great economic impact to the city, uh, much needed. And uh, these events also bring about enjoyment and excitement in the build-up leading up to the game. Uh, what aid to our success in the short period of time that we had to turn around the game since the announcements was that uh, Bafana landed in the city at uh, uh, on Sunday and uh, with them being here for the entire week also created great excitement and uh, we can see by the ticket sales from the Wednesday there's been great numbers and even today uh, we had a big jump we almost over 30,000 uh, currently and uh, tickets in circulation we're planning for a full bowl uh, from a stadium management point of view it's important that uh, we we, we uh, have a stadium that is safe and compliant and, and all protocols are, are, are in place and with that we've increased our security um, uh, component in terms of ensuring that it meets the, the numbers we're expecting. So uh, we had to turn around in terms of our operations plans this morning due to the spikes, which is uh, encouraging as well uh, from a stadium point of view. And uh, we're expecting a full house uh, later this evening at seven. We are well prepared uh, from, a, from a stadium point of view. Uh, we're excited to host this game. Um, as you mentioned, the last time we had Bafana was in 2019. Uh, if we look at the statistics in the week leading up, we the numbers was fantastic. And um, we were ready from a stadium in terms of also selling an experience remember for us it's important that people leave with a good memory we are hopeful to to not only have residents from uh, Nelson Mandela Bay and Kobecha but also uh, visiting and people coming from the entire province so it's 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 our duty and responsibility to ensure that people arrive safe and they have a memorable experience and they also leave uh, safely to their home so and that's important for us uh, as a stadium and those protocols are in place and um, we look forward to to welcoming the team uh, later the gates just opened as you mentioned and uh, there's already a large number of people that's coming in which shows you the hunger and the appetite and just the excitement around the city as, as a whole and um, it's our responsibility as stadium management to go out and uh, lobby for these type of events so that um, the stadium can become viable and commercially viable and driven so that um, we can get more corporate support and also get support from the local residents which it shows that uh, this is what we need and this is what we're striving for so um, from, from a stadium management point of view we're excited and we're ready to host the final this evening. Raz, um, Congo finally arrived last yeah. night. They had a late training yeah. session. Yeah. I saw some tweets from the players yeah. saying this is a yeah. world-class yeah. pitch. I mean, it's better than some pitches I've seen in Europe. Yeah. So this is obviously experience not just for the spectators, but for the players as well to yeah. be able to play in a stadium of this stature. No, well, I think um, credit to our, our, our technical and facilities team. Uh, we've really worked hard. We 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 basically dedicated the last 10 days to ensure that we have uh, a pitch that is playable and it's also a pitch that will bring about excitement and fast football. Um, last night we had uh, Bafana Bafana have a captain's run at four. We also hosted uh, Congo Brazzaville. Uh, they arrived safely and they also had a captain's run at seven o'clock. So um, the coach, as you said, both coaches are extremely satisfied with uh, the pitch and the condition and uh, we hope that tonight will be a spectacle and we'll see good football and uh, all round it will be a great experience for all that's coming into the city and to the stadium and uh, we hope that uh, moreover that South Africa uh, Bafana Bafana progress uh, it's a crucial encounter and uh, as a city we are to support them and uh, we we behind them and uh, we look forward to a memorable uh, uh, game this evening. Raz, a little birdie whispered mm. in my ear that there's a rumor going yeah. around that yeah. we might host some of the international yeah. rugby tests come yeah. next year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there any truth to that or we can yeah. look forward to more exciting yeah. sporting events yeah. here? I think part of our mandate is to ensure that we bring mega events to the stadium and I think uh, you mentioned it uh, uh, previously in your opening statement that um, these events are important for the city so uh, not only rugby but sporting events at, as, as a whole we need to ensure that we've got a fantastic 
fantastic facility. It's well kept. It's well maintained. And uh, our citizens are hungry for good sport and good entertainment. So uh, pertaining to rugby, we definitely are in, 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 in talks with the, 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 the bodies that's responsible uh, for, for bringing those type of events. But uh, our hand is always up. Our stadium is available and we're always ready to host. So we owe it to the citizens. It's our mandate as the Mandela Bay Development Agency to ensure that we have warm bodies on seats, ensure that we have an attractive events calendar that the citizens can plan and look forward to. So it's our responsibility as operators of the stadium, as the Mandela Bay Development Agency, to go out lobby and, and, and find these events that uh, is impactful and that it has an economic impact. Uh, this evening we'll be creating hundreds of um, temporary jobs uh, and it's much needed in the city. So we have a responsibility as the MBDA uh, to go out and find events and uh, it's our mandate uh, to, to go out and find these events. So to your question, yes, we would be, first of all, we are open and available to talks, um, but um, we were ready to host and uh, those events that you mentioned will come about. Uh, we just need to ensure that all processes are followed and also the right uh, implementation. And uh, we have everyone on board and everyone support, including our principal, which is the Mandela Bay, uh, the municipality. Uh, so we've got a huge responsibility as the operators of the stadium. And um, we look forward to the citizens also supporting events that we host come out in numbers so that it's easy for me and our technical team and our management and our CEO when we go out uh, you know we've got the backing and support of our residents and our citizens so we're excited come out early this evening uh, our gates are open at four kickoff is at seven please ensure you come early ensure that you arrive in your regalia make noise and support the team and uh, with that they'll return as quick as, uh, as as we can or what we expect and we hope to form good partnerships uh, with the South African Football Association going forward uh, as well as others sporting bodies um, so from our side we're excited and uh, we're ready to host this evening and uh, we look forward to uh, an event and a spectacle that's memorable and to talk about for years to come Ross, thank you so much. Enjoy the game tonight. Thank you, thank you. That was just Ross, our stadium manager here at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium um, in Kubeja. As you can hear, he's very excited. He's very passionate, um, not just about this game today, but also about hosting future international games, bringing the sport, bringing the entertainment, and as well bringing, you know, the economic impact, bringing the jobs. We will be here throughout the game. We'll be uh, speaking to some of our spectators, hopefully get on the pitch. We'll see. We are all very, very excited here in Kubeja, and it's said to be a good match tonight at seven between Bafana Bafanga, Bafana Bafana rather, and Congo. It's back to you in studio. Thank you so much for that, Kim. Well, if anything, I know Kabeha people will show up. And of course, we've heard there from Raz that over 30,000 tickets already sold. So thank you so much for that, Kim. I'm sure we will keep tabs in terms of how that is going. Kim Daniels live for us there at, at the stadium ahead of that match. Of course, as you've heard, 30,000 tickets already sold. The stadium officials expecting that uh, stadium to be a full house by 7 p.m. tonight.